All right, what's up guys? You're watching Bob's Decline. We are at the Utility Expo in Kentucky, 2023 Utility Expo. And a lot of viewers ask, in almost every video I post, like, how come you guys don't use drones? So walking around, we passed by this booth and we've got a drone up here behind me with some gear hanging down from it. So of course it kind of grabbed our attention. We stopped by and we met Lee here from Blind Bird and we've got Chris from Plant Star. So they're going to give us a quick demonstration. This is going to be 100% unedited, guys. I'm going to drop this video this Friday. So we're dropping it on Friday for a very special reason. We've got a shout out for Eddie. It's his fifth birthday. A long time viewer, been watching since he's been one years old when he started posting. So happy birthday, Eddie. And yeah, let's get started. We've got the sensor link, which can wirelessly check for resistance in hot spots on transmission lines using that drone from the ground and then this guy here clamp star their product can make repairs to this real efficiently but we'll uh, we'll switch over to lee here and let's check it out we're going to have johnny our hotline specialist and we've got stefan the bearded man that are going to be participating in the demonstration so let's check this out guys all right guys so anybody wanting to know about this product come on in here let's take a look at it so currently, most people check their mid-span splices, their power lines, by using thermography. Infrared cameras, trying to see if it's hot or not. Well, the only problem with that is you can never know if it really is hot or not, because there's no way to calibrate that camera once you're in the air. You don't know the emissive value of anything on that power line. There's no way to tell. So whatever thermographer actually looks at it, it's a best guess. How do you solve that best guess problem? You actually fly a tool up there, touch the power line, and get a genuine reading as if you were sitting up there with a multimeter yourself and actually touching the power line. So once you actually have real data, you can know how long it's gonna take before that splice needs to come out, or can you use a product to save yourself a lot of time and effort, money galore, by just putting a shunt over top of it. So what we do is we take this new, um, well this is the older technology, but the ohm stick, and we go up and we fly it, we touch the power line and we get a reading. The reading will tell us what the structural integrity of that sleeve is. At that point, we'll take and, and bring that data down and that utility then can determine what path to go. We always suggest using a clamp star, the quickest way to just throw that thing up there. The structural integrity of the line is all kept within itself, no tensile strength loss. You could actually even cut the sleeve out in the middle if you needed to. But the quickest way to lose um, money is to then over-process this whole system. So if you come out, you cut it out, you jack it up, now you've got two sleeves instead of one. Now you've cost yourself a lot of money, you've put men in harm's way, when one guy, one rattle gun, one drone could have solved all your problems in, a, in just one quick method. Any questions? Let's, uh, let's take a look at the product. You Absolutely. got a, you got a couple, uh, I see there's one on the table over there. That's yep. a smaller version. Yeah, let's, of... let's bring this in. Okay, cool. Okay, so everybody's familiar. You've looked up at your own power lines at your house and you've seen one of these sleeves, correct? Okay, how does it get up there? Well, some guy climbs, some guy gets in a bucket truck and they go up there and they have to force that thing on there one way or another. When it goes bad, what happens is you now no longer have this wire to use. Now you got to bring up a piece of wire and two of these. But wouldn't it be easier if you just took this nice product right here up the first time, clamped it over top of the bad sleeve, and you're done. Here, feel how light it is. Oh yeah, it's lightweight. Lyman can put that up with a stick. Breakaway nuts. Absolutely. So, so that product is rated for the full ampacity of the wire size that it's that it's going Correct. on, and that that sleeve will stay in place indefinitely. It will. And, and basically, your current's going to bypass that sleeve the majority of it. Correct. So you 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 still have your full current carrying capacity as well as a physical holding strength for for the damaged portion of the wire. Absolutely. Now here's the fun part. This is one of the big questions I always get. As an X line. One of the things that we always look at is ease of use. Look how easy that is. You know, we don't want to be up there for hours and hours and hours because that's hazardous man hours. That's, that's one step closer to not going home that day. Right? So, so one of the things you always have to remember with these tools, 
is these are designed to no longer have issues so you don't have any corona buildup the way this is designed. So on your bigger products like these, anytime you use a preform or any type of armor rod, you're A, fighting do you have the right size, B, just how much damage am I going to do to this power line underneath this with all the diamond chips and having to use the tools to crank it down on there. And three, am I going to have a Corona flare that eventually breaks down this power line over time? With this product, none of that's an issue. Half the time, better product, ease of use. And that product's available in pretty well all ranges, all, all wire sizes, from number six, right. number four, number six, yep. number six, all the way up to to what size KC mill? 2750 KC mill. And we can see some of the, the larger size products up here. Quite impressive to look at compared to little number number two guys. And just to, to back up a little bit on, on the whole drone thing. So if you've got, let's say a 345 KV transmission line, you got some sleeves in it, you're doing inspections on hot spots, which pretty tricky to do when you're 200 feet up off the ground. Sure. So you you actually send this this drone up Correct. with with uh, and that configuration that's from the line bird is it? Yes. Sir. The configuration that's hanging off that drone, and then at the bottom of the line bird configuration we have a sensor link. Uh, what's the sensor link product? Radial ohm stick. Radial ohm stick, and that'll actually check for resistance across the sleeve. So you can drop that right down onto power line from several hundred feet off the ground with the drone and remotely get a reading on that 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 sleeve so if the sleeve's hot at that point you can set up whether you're doing helicopter work whether you basically you can repair it live you can install that sleeve the uh you can install the clamp start live absolutely okay excellent now one of the other good things we hadn't touched on yet is it's not just mid-span sleeves so you can jump her out absolutely over you suspension actually, you can jump over dead end sleeves Something like this product right here. Oh, cool. Okay, so we've got a we've got a dead end here, and we've got the clamp star that's actually on the jumper portion, bypassing the dead end and clamped right up onto the overhead line. And and those connectors, so those those uh, shear bolt connectors up there on those torque bits as well. Yes, sir. So you don't have to worry about over torquing. Yes, sir. Excellent. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a really great product. I think it, it makes a lot of sense. It'll save a lot of time, a lot of money. Absolutely. And the other one that we didn't mention is damaged conductor. It doesn't okay. have to be a sleeve. That's true. Lightning strikes, hits, uh, installation issues where uh, lines were nicked as they were pulled in. I mean, everybody's shaking their head. We've all fought it. Uh, you got one strand that's starting to unwind, no problem. Run it back in, get your, your uh, clamp star up there. All done. It's just that quick. Awesome. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for the presentation. Absolutely, Lee. sir. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Right on, guys. So, again, we're at the Utility Expo. We've got literally hundreds of hours of footage already. So, we're going to get some stuff edited up. You'll see stuff popping up probably over the next few months. We're going to be dropping videos one at a time. This will be our first official video coming up this Friday. Again, happy birthday, Eddie. Fifth birthday. And we'll see you guys all soon. Be safe out there.